So Peter, as you and I both know, you're better at certain things than I am, and I'm better at certain things than you are. So if I say it today, is it going to be a day for you? Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Real Agile or BS. I'm Peter Saddington with my colleague, Bob Hartman. We love answering your frequently asked questions around Agile. And one that often comes up in classes and in client engagements is this whole idea of story points equaling time or story points equaling days for estimation. So is this Real Agile or BS? I'll throw it over to you, Bob. Well, Peter, I think they're taking two different concepts and putting them together. So we have the concept of an ideal day, we have the concept of estimating in days, and then we have the concept of sizing with story points. And trying to say your size equals a particular amount of time, in the end, you can back into it. But if you're estimating story points by estimating ideal days or something like that, then we're just back in the same old estimate, estimation game. And is it my day or is it your day? So Peter, as you and I both know, you're better at certain things than I am and I'm better at certain things than you are. So if I say it's a day, is it gonna be a day for you? Don't know. On the other hand, if it's something simple, it's gonna be a one for both of us. Mm -hmm. Might take me an hour, might take you two, might take you an hour, might take me eight, whatever it is, but it's still simple. So when you're estimating story points and you're equating them to days up front, rather than backing into it later, like I could say at the end, okay, 10 story points equated to 10 days. Okay, I can figure it out in reverse. But if I'm doing that up front, definitely not agile. I'm saying BS on that one. I would I would completely agree with this, this idea. For coming from a developer standpoint, it is, in my opinion, and you now anyone out there in the comment section out there in the community can correct me if I'm wrong, but from my experience as an engineer developer, it is actually impossible to really estimate if anything's going to take a day. Now, I completely agree with you here, Bob, that we can back into it retrospectively, right, after the fact and say, well, how many points did we do this sprint and how many days did that equate to? I think that's easy math for us to do, but it's not the true reality. At the end of the day, when it comes to anything complex, right, if we're building complex systems, then there's so many unknown unknowns to that. And the fact of emergence, which happens 100% of the time, meaning that we emergently learn about what we didn't think about or what we didn't know happens 100% of the time with every single developer. And so when it comes to any type of equation of story points to ideal days or story point equals a day, I think it's complete hooey. For me, story points really is a relative construct that is simply attached to the team so the team can understand capacity over time and what they're able to complete. Now, we all know that from any type of data analysis that the more data you have, the better your results will be. And so one of the great things about Scrum is that we're building in short iterations, which allows us to get that data relatively frequently. So over time, we'll have massive amounts of data of what the teams can do in terms of story points, and that can help lead them and guide them for any type of strategic planning and any type of work that's coming up in the future. And I know that you say this in your classes all the time, but points are really for the team and planning alone. Is that fair? Yeah, it's a planning metric and then it should be thrown away. It's not used for anything else. It's to help guide the team in planning. Um, and Peter, this problem gets even worse. So we're talking about ideal days as story points, things like that. Have you ever heard them say, hey, we have 0.25 days or story points per developer per day or something. It gets crazy, right? What does that even mean? <laughs> I, I don't even know. It's like, okay, if I take all my developers and add up all their points per day and multiply by the number of days of the sprint, maybe I have my velocity. I, I mean, it sounds good, but at the end, it's it just, it doesn't work that well. I mean, I think, I think you have to have some concept of team velocity. I think you have to understand that it's going to change based on who's there and who's not. People will go on vacation or get sick or something, but but this whole concept of a story point equaling a day and, and and that being the answer, it just doesn't work for me. Now, can we use that as training wheels for sizing in the first couple of sprints? That I might be able to get on board with a little bit, but it's still, the problem is my one point is, and your one point are gonna take a different amount of time. That's That's the bottom line for me. So equating it to a time directly just, it can't work. It just the the, the you're, it's like saying, "Hey Peter, how fast is your car going?" It's going thirty seven seconds per per uh, 
per league or something. I don't know. It's just, it's, it's weird. You're like taking two different measuring things and putting them together and saying they're the same. I don't, I don't get it. In, 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 a, in a lot of ways. And the, the, the fact that it took you a little bit of work to put that analogy together tells you about, about, about kind of the mental gymnastics that happens, especially at a management level when it comes to these types of metrics. And again, from my perspective, I often see these metrics as bats that the, that the management can wield against the development team and say, hey, you're supposed to be able to do X number of points in X number of days. It's like, well, we've never done this before. And that's often the conversation that doesn't happen between development and management is that development, we're not as transparent and vocal about the fact that there is emergence happening. We're learning as we're going. We have never built this function or feature or method or token or API or hook or whatever before. And that creates a lot of, a, a lot of work. It creates a lot of emergent work. And so at the end of the day, I try to help management and teams understand that metrics should not be used as a bat and a mechanism against the teams, but rather a mechanism for the team to self-organize and say, hey, this is what we're able to do. This is what we're able to self-manage around. And over time, we'll be able to give the, the management metrics that actually matter. But in my world, when it comes to story points and ideal days, these types of things, complete BS, it's not helpful. Yep, I agree 100%. I think we can put this one to bed. Oh, perfect. Well, thanks guys, everyone out there for subscribing and checking out this YouTube video. If you want more information, make sure to check out our YouTube links below as well as our playlist. We're always creating great content and we'll see you guys on the flip side.